I talked about how I wanted to make this channel just commenting on racing and, and some analysis with the European Under-23 Championships, the European Junior Championships already having taken place. And the upcoming European Senior Championships, I figured I'd just kind of go over some of the race results and then talk about some of the entries for the upcoming race. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually didn't happen. Attention. What is going on, rowing community? My name is Justin Best. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And uh, this has been long overdue. Um, and it's not for the lack of effort. Um, today, I'm just going to be giving kind of an update um, of, of why what's been going on. And some things have happened in the past couple months. Um, and there's a reason I haven't been uploading. And it's kind of cool. So with that being said, thank you for watching and then uh, we'll get right into it. Okay, so I uploaded last in what, 2020, November at some point. Um, and and I kind of feel bad. Uh, I did want to be more consistent with uploading and creating videos and creating content. Alas, life catches up with you and um, specifically rowing catches up with you. So uh, the intensity of training and the, the going into selection camp increased um, from the time that I was uh, just training kind of out in Oakland. Um, so with that being said as well, I also uh, got a job. So getting that job and the intensity of the training and then we went into a selection camp for the Olympic 4 and the Olympic 8. And between all of that, it was just, uh, videos just kind of went to the wayside. Yeah, so I'm going to give kind of a, like a little timeline. Eight months ago was the last time I uploaded a video. Um, and since then, I've moved into a new place as the new background. Uh, I, like I said already, I got a job. I work for a software as a service data analytics company called Splunk now. I guess we can just kind of go back to December. Uh, things started getting pretty intense with with the, with the Olympic selection looming. Um, so it just seemed uh, my time was more dedicated to rowing performance and, and I wanted to keep focus. Um, also, it's, it's a tough sell to just be walking around with a camera. Starting in January, the US Men's Training Center flew to Chula Vista, California for a social bubble that we stayed for two and a half months down there in Chula Vista, California at the Elite Athlete Training Center. Shout out to those people. They made it a fantastic experience. Um, all we did was eat, sleep, row, and repeat. And I even tried to film a video down there just giving another update, but you know, by the time I started editing and working, and it just didn't work out. So I'm doing it now. So we returned to the Bay Area from the Chula Vista Elite Athlete Training Center on the 12th of March. So with that, there was a week of kind of downtime training and then the official selection camp started. And, um, you know, it was, it was a very long, physically, mentally, emotionally exhaustive process. Um, you know, we did a lot of racing. There was, there was many, many weeks that we would do full on, full out racing. Fortunately, um, I was able to put what I felt like my best performance down. I was selected to the United States Men's Eight. Um, and at the end of all of that, so that happened June 4th was the final day. And uh, like that's when the, I think the press release came out around, around then as well. Um, but that was kind of why I stepped away from filming and, and there hasn't been an upload in eight months because I really needed to focus on rowing, working, and then recovery. Um, and you know, fortunately it worked out for me. That's not the end goal. The end goal is obviously to medal at the Olympics. So I'm making this video now to update. Um, I think by the time I get this uploaded, I will still be in Oakland. We're flying to Hawaii for a week on the 7th for just uh, time and climate acclimation training. And then from there we fly to Tokyo on the 15th of July. So I will be filming and trying to put things together. I can't guarantee you if I will get another upload between now and then, but I definitely want to get an upload 
post Olympics. Um, the Olympics is going to be very different from Olympics in the past. Uh, there's a very strict standard of rules that we must comply with, uh, including masking, social distancing, and um, other procedures like we have to download an app that has a geolocator so that they can contact trace in the event of an outbreak. Fortunately, most of Team USA at this point has received a vaccine. I myself have also received a vaccine. As far as the future for this channel, I do want to get back to more consistent uploads and I think that once the games are over and I can kind of get my bearings about me and training kind of decreases, um, I'll start uploading again very similar content to what I was doing before. Um, and you know, I know I said I want to talk about races, um, but then I had to end up focusing on my own stuff, on my own things. I still do want to talk about racing because I'm a huge rowing nerd. It's an entertaining thing to talk about, so... Keep an eye out for that as well. I'm not gonna make any promises because that was really short-sighted of me to do that and kind of unfair if you are actually following me. Oh, all 50 of my followers at this point. But yeah, so I'm gonna eventually, at some point when I get some time, um, post the games, like kind of just make a video. There's plenty of stuff that I could talk about, you know, with training, with competing, um, and then, you know, kind of my experience. I do plan on bringing my camera with me and uh, being diligent about kind of filming my experience and then, um, you know, without stepping on guys' toes. I'll bring my camera with me, film some things, um, and then, you know, kind of really focus up on performance because at the end of the day, uh, we're not going to the Olympics just to go to the Olympics. We're, we're, we're gonna go to try and win. We, as, as the United States, are an eighth nation. Um, and, and like, I personally am very honored to, to be a part of this, this boat, this crew and be named to this team. And so this is kind of not a very scripted video, it's just kind of very candid at this point. Um, but I hope that you continue to follow along. Uh, I'll be uploading to my Instagram as well. So that's probably more easy than sitting down and editing a YouTube video. I will, I will, like I said, try and get some things rolling again. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see something specific, if you have any questions, or you can DM me on Instagram. I wanted to take some time to give a shout out to Lainey Duncan. She's my girlfriend, been my girlfriend for six years. Uh, she's absolutely amazing, and she's helped me out incredibly. Um, you know, there's not really many words that can describe how fantastic she is. Um, so I just figured I'd give her a shout out in this video. So that's all in terms of update and, and what's going on. Um, I hope that I will be able to perform well at the Olympics. Um, but again, it's, it's time to focus up. So if you want to give a follow, feel free. Um, press subscribe, turn on post notifications in case I post again. Or you can go ahead and follow over on uh, my Instagram. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.